Wireframing can be hard, but it shouldn't be that way. In this video, I want to share with you how I do my wireframing for both uh, small and uh, large enterprise clients. I'm also giving away a freebie which you can download for Figma down below. It's basically a portion of my most sold UX wireframing kit for websites. And I'm also going to give you a live demo at the end of the video. So wireframing is just one of the steps in the UX process. So we're going to just focus on that. And usually when I create the first wireframes, I would follow either one of two approaches. So for the first approach, I would simply identify which are the elements which we need to communicate and uh, accomplish uh, for the user. And I would uh, usually refer this uh, as a communication hierarchy. And uh, at the very top of this hierarchy, there's going to be the most important thing that you want to communicate, for example, in a landing page or in a, a dashboard design. And the lower you go in this pyramid, the less important those informations are going to be. And this is crucial to do even before you start creating the first wireframe, because this is going to enable you to identify which are the things that needs to have more emphasis and which ones don't, but still need to be integrated in the wireframe. And once I've done that, uh, I would create uh, either a wireframe using uh, traditional mediums like pen and paper and I would simply mock up the ideal structure and then translate uh, this uh, pen and paper mock-up into a high fidelity design in uh, a design software such as Figma, Sketch uh, or Adobe XD. And in the second approach, I'm actually going to go directly into the design software and I'm going to create the wireframe directly from there. Now I'm also going to leave a freebie which you can download by clicking in the description below and uh, you're going to be able to have uh, a portion of uh, one of my most downloaded UX wireframing kit for websites. And I'm going to give you a live demo in just a moment of uh, on how we would go about approaching a website project in that case. Now, depending on the project and on the client, uh, I would decide upon one of these two processes. There's no really right or wrong solution. It all depends on the client and on this specific project. Um, all of my UX solutions and processes might slightly differ from client to client because it really depends on the context in which we're operating and everything I do is pretty much tailor-made. So without further ado, let's jump into my computer and uh, let's uh, create uh, this uh, wireframe together. So here we're back on my computer and uh, the way I would do this, and by the way, you can download the source file in the link below. So the way I would usually create uh, the wireframe is, uh, again, I would identify which are the first, uh, the second, uh, and uh, the third, uh, um, or even more elements which are important to communicate. And then uh, what I would do, practically speaking, uh, is uh, I would just uh, create, uh, for example, a frame, uh, um, desktop frame right here. Let me just drag it on the left. Uh, and this would be the canvas uh, for my wireframing. Uh, so the, the way I would do it is uh, I would have this canvas opened uh, and uh, this, uh, let's, uh, let's say that we're creating a website design for a landing page. And then uh, on the right, uh, I would uh, usually have uh, one of uh, my UX kits. Uh, in this case, uh, we're having a small preview of uh, volume, which is uh, my biggest uh, uh, UX kit for websites, which I ever released. This took, uh, uh, this is just like a very small portion of it. Uh, the entire UI kit, uh, if you're interested in that uh, is, uh, is this one here and uh, you can find the link down below and uh, I know it's a bold claim world's largest website UI kit but uh, I haven't found anyone which uh, is uh, larger at the moment in the entire marketplace and if you go and uh, you see at the preview you can see that there's like so many elements and uh, we're just here in the scroll bar and you just like keep scrolling and keep scrolling and there's so many elements these are resizable and uh, all that good stuff. We also have an entire website which I created inside the UX kit, but uh, um, that's enough for this uh, <laughs> plug. I want to focus on uh, the wireframing. So the way I would do it is, uh, you know, first of all, let's say that I need to create a header. I would uh, choose one of these uh, 
and then uh, you know I would uh, literally uh, copy and paste them or drag and drop them in directly into the main uh, wireframe and uh, again these are these are basic uh, you might want to change the typography or you might want to change the spacing the colors uh, the logo uh, of course this is not going to just be a drag and drop and call it a day kind of action but uh, you can see where i'm going with this uh, and uh, for example i, I might want uh, a landing page section since uh, we identified in the pyramid uh, that we need uh, to communicate uh, this very important concept uh, right here so we're going to give it a, a lot of emphasis we might want to have a video explaining this concept in depth uh, or maybe we want a call to action such as a button to bring them uh, directly to maybe like a, a sales funnel or a, a payment screen uh, so that this uh, primary goal is going to be accomplished now let's go to the secondary goal, which is maybe to communicate that, that uh, this company has uh, free services. So I might want to grab uh, an element such as this one. And uh, you know, I might want to add also some uh, uh, differentiation, some kind of a, a divider in between uh, and uh, make it lighter. And we might want to communicate the, the second uh, hierarchy which is uh, uh, this concept uh, this concept and this concept so as you can see the the pyramid is essentially going to dictate uh, the wireframe and uh, not the other way around you don't create the wireframe first you create the the pyramid with uh, the hierarchy first uh, decide what's important what's less important and what uh, you know it's even less important but needs to be there and then you reverse engineer the wireframe based on this and this uh, is extremely important this works for this worked uh, totally uh like like wonders for large enterprise clients for small uh, startups clients and uh, any clients in between and any problem no matter how complex it is and i worked on very very large uh, um enterprise softwares that are like so complicated that uh, uh, it, it's just like so many variables are moving places that uh, there's no way you will you will ever understand each and every one of them a hundred percent but by doing this exercise and you can do it also with stakeholders with uh, other team members and you know senior um, you know senior staff uh, this is definitely going to help uh, bring uh, a whole lot of value like if, if you only do this uh, this exercise um, here uh, you, you can literally like charge so much for for just doing this uh, because this is this, this is going to enable um, to bring a lot of clarification in a lot of cases where you, you know you're you're literally going to seem like uh, you know um, a superhero and uh, <laughs> after that you know you create a wireframe which is totally justified because you examined the you already outlined uh, the high level strategy the high level strategy works uh, so the wireframe even if you move like this uh, this here and uh, you know you you left align it uh, or you know maybe like the the typography is like a bit off uh, the ux structure is going to be rock solid so this is definitely going to help you a lot so yeah that's pretty much it um then we create the entire wireframe and again guys this is a freebie living for free so click the link in the description below to download it so i really hope you enjoyed this video hope it was helpful and now i'm curious to hear about uh, your experience with wireframing and uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and uh, if you have uh, any ideas for new videos or things that you'd like uh, to learn about wireframing or ui ux in general Feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And uh, on my YouTube channel, I have over 300 videos where I share my 80 plus years experience uh, with uh, you about uh, design and freelancing and uh, UI UX in general. So check it out if you're interested in that. And I'll see you in the next video.